Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarama Geek. Been a long time since I've done a video. Um, so since the last of the video, I've done quite a lot of stuff. Um, been buying a lot of 4K Blu-rays and Blu-rays. Um, and so for my first video back, I thought I'd do one um, to do with the recent uh, Zavi exclusive Disney and Pixar 4K Blu-rays that they've been releasing. I've bought quite a haul so far. I got my pre-orders in for the next few that have been released so we'll throughout August and September. Very, very excited about some of those in particular. So I thought I'd give you a haul of the ones I've got so far, give you a little look at the inside of the disc art and stuff, I talk about them, uh, and give my views in each film really, and just, just a bit of a chill out video. So let's get straight to it. So uh, there's not any particular order, I don't think. Let me just decide for the moment. There we go. Let's start with this pile here. So let's do that. Okay, so the first one you saw was Cars. Now, this is one of my favourite films. I love this film. I'm a big car fan myself. And this film is just so enjoyable. It's just, for me, it's so um, comforting to watch. I don't know why. I just find it a really fun, comforting film. You've got, uh, you've got Lightning McQueen on there. Really nice cover. Now, you may have noticed that I won't have any slip covers on these. Um... I, I, simple reason, I prefer not having slip covers. I like having that black bar at the top. Um, and yeah, so I don't have my slip covers. Um, and please don't ask me in comments below for my slip covers because I don't have them at the moment anymore. But yes, anyway, back to this. Enough about why I don't keep slip covers. So yes, this is the front cover here. We've got Mater there. This is a great film. I really love this film. Um, I haven't checked any of these out in 4K just yet. I've been collecting them at the moment. I have the time to watch them. There's the spine. Now, I love on the spines, you get the actual cars. or it's not like cars. So you get the Pixar characters on each one. So that's there. We've got Light McQueen on that one. And on the back, what have we got on the back? Golden Globe winner for Best Motion Picture back in, 20, back in 2007. My word. Yeah, this film is fantastic for me. I, I really get such enjoyment out of this film. I really love the setting and the story and the characters. And it can be seen as one of the most immature and childish, I suppose, Pixar films. But I personally absolutely love this film. Um, it's, I think it was two hours, blimey. It's about just under two hours. So all these come with Dolby Atmos. None of these come with um, Dolby Vision, but they do come with HDR10. Um, so as you can see, it's a Dolby Atmos. Some are 7.14 and some are 5.14. So that's those there. And don't seem to get any special features on actual 4K Blu-rays. Uh, you just tend to get them on actual Blu-ray disc itself. And they're all region, as you can see there, A, B and C. So that's that there. So yeah, it's I, I love this film. It's a really great cast of characters and uh, really enjoyable. So... There's the 4K disc, which I think is pretty much the same as the, um, the cover artwork, to be honest. And then on here, we've got the Blu-ray disc. Now, what I like about these, I've noticed, is they do have different cover artwork, which is quite nice. Sometimes the artwork's better on the Blu-ray. It's a little bit annoying, but there we go. That's a great... I like that a lot. Look at, look at that. Okay, that's an amazing cover artwork. Now, that'd be a great cover, wouldn't it, for the actual disc art itself. That's uh, where the actual box art itself. What a great cover blimey It'd be good tonight It'd be a nice still book wouldn't it if it was in glossy still book form so that's that there so yeah cars i absolutely adore i would give cars for me personally out of five i never do half stars so for me one is terrible two is poor three is enjoyable four two is poor okay three is enjoyable four is great and five is amazing i would give this as four it's a great film it really is great so that's that one there. So let's just pop that down there. Let's move on to, let's try and not do an order. Let's do a little sort of out of order. Next one is Onward. So one of the most recent, I think it might be, might even be the most recent Pixar film actually. Oh no, of course, Soul is, isn't it? So here's the cover artwork. Now this is a film that I watched only earlier this year on Disney Plus and really enjoyed it. Didn't know what to expect. Um, I knew there'd be great, Great relationship between these two, obviously Chris Pratt and Tom Holland, and you do get that on the screen, especially Chris Pratt is fantastic. Um, the story is really good, the setting is fun, it's it's realistic setting in that you can you can relate it a lot to the like our world, 
but it's different enough that it feels fun, you know, like you can see a swamp gas uh, and pizza realm. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's the, there's his truck. Now, forgive me, I don't know all the characters' names um, or anything like that. A lot of these films I've only seen once or don't really necessarily remember all the names. Not the best on screen for remembering names. So there is the spine. And again, we have Tom Holland's character there. If that focuses. The focus. Oh, there we go. Tom Holland's character. And on the back, what do we got on the back? Oh, nice back on there. Like that back. All different characters. She's amazing. She's absolutely amazing. The um the dragon star woman on this is absolutely fantastic in this film. Hilarious. There's some fantastic there's some really funny scenes in this. And it's an adult human that you think, how do they get away with that? Some of this in this film. One scene in particular with the dad out of the window of the van. If you've seen the film, you know what I'm on about. It's freaking hilarious. Eyes in tears. Rewound it and watched it again and again. Oh, this is brilliant. So again, Dolby Atmos, I won't repeat myself. There's the bonus features. So you do get an audio commentary with the filmmakers, which is always fantastic. Fun and very interesting. Yeah, this one I've only seen once. I did really enjoy from what I've seen. Like to watch it again. Um, I would give this film a... Based on first viewing, I would give it a... Three out of five. It's enjoyable. I don't mean that as in, you know, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's enjoyable. Like, it actually is good, fun, enjoyable. I like it. Three is not a bad score. To get five out of five is extremely hard for me. So, yeah, this is a three out of five. Really good film. Really, really like that film a lot. Next one, bit back to a bit more of a classic film. And it is Bugs Life. Haven't seen this in so long. Can't wait to watch this film. And there's Flick. Is it Flick? I think his name's Flick. And the Ladybird, who is just brilliant and you've got you got the juicy butterfly from the caterpillar there <laughs> amazing there we go nice cover really like the cover really really nice looks like clay so it looks like a bit of clay rather than computer generated and there he is there nice again all the all the spines are different colors you can see on here that for a look you can see they're all similar I love the fact they're all similar they've got the symbol at the top Disney, picks up, apart from the little bug on that one, that annoys me. <laughs> uh, it just replaces the dot, as you can see on there. Then the name, and then the picture. Love it. Absolutely love the fact that you got that sort of consistency. Oh, we did look at the disc, did we, on this one? Let's have a look at the uh, disc art. There we go. So you can see we've got there onward on that one. That's the, that's a great cover. Oh, it's the Blu-ray. <laughs> and then this one is the actual 4K disc. Very, very nice. I love that the van's rearing up like, a, like the horse would. So that's really cool. Lovely colours, beautiful colours. Now I haven't seen this on um, 4K disc yet, but I imagine this one's gonna look absolutely stunning, I reckon. Um, one of my recent uh, subscribers, or hopefully subscriber, commented saying how you know they agree that disc is so much better than, than streaming. And as time's gone on, I really have realised just how good discs are. I know that the technology is going to change, I know that streaming is eventually going to catch up with discs, but to get lossless audio and lossless picture, you can't beat this. To give you some some idea, if you're new to the whole format um, and you're new to collecting films, welcome. Um, streaming services, Apple for example, they recommend you have 25 megabits per second of internet to get 4k image. A disc like this for example, um, will range usually with 4k minimum of 25 normally and they range usually around 35 40 50 some can peak up to 80 i've had i think it was a few films a peak at 100 megabits per second it might be for a few seconds but that's the point the disc is allowing you to get that full whack and that's not the whole thing that's just the picture so if you've got a panasonic um 4k blu-ray player you have the option of playing pressing i think it's playback info and it tells you the um, the megabit per second bit rate, and you can see just how good the discs are. But we, I know things will change in the future, but right now, I, the picture quality is better on disc, and I like collecting discs, and I'm gonna stop rambling. What's on the back here? The lights. Everyone, young, old, or six-legged. It does indeed. I don't know what six-legged creature they are to find out that particular review. Maybe they read it in Bugs Daily, who knows? Uh, what have we got in here? So that's directed by John Lasseter, who I believe has, has now left Disney. 
Uh, let's have a look. So there's, again, you've got a commentary on there by John Lasseter and Andrew Stanton as well, who I believe is the director of a few other Pixar films, I think, and John, Car and John Carter, I think, which I haven't seen, but I know it flopped. This one's an hour and a half. Good length for a Pixar Disney film, I think. And on the inside... <coughs> what have we got in here? So, again, you can see it's the same as the cover artwork. Is the Blu-ray better than this one? No, I don't think it is. It's nice, but I prefer the other one. Very nice. It looks old. It looks like an old Blu-ray uh, picture, doesn't it? So that is Bugs Life. Out of five, I would give this four. Absolutely brilliant film. Love it. Again, might be the nostalgia part of me that, that loves all these, but um, there we go. Next one. Let's go for this one. This one is about a little fella who likes to repeat Eva. That's right. It is Wally. Now, I've only I haven't seen this film for about I don't know eight nine years, a long time, even longer than that actually. So I'm pumped to see this again. I remember this having visuals that were just mind blowing. They were like photorealistic, and like even now they hold up well. I think this is going to look really beautiful in 4K with the HDR, with with all the night skies and all the 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 bright lights of the spaceships and then the darkness of all the scrapyard. I think it's gonna look stunning. Yeah, I think it's gonna look great. On the side there, of course, we have Wally himself, like a bluish tinge. And on the back, I remember that little fella. The Eva. I haven't seen this for so long. I don't know why I got Academy Award. Wow, two thousand eight. This was just after was that Cars? I think it was. Andrew Stanton did Wally. There you go. So he did Wally. No commentary on this one. There you go. 98 minutes, hour 40. So it's, again, a nice length, I think, for, a, for an animated film. I love this film. I, I've only seen it, like I said, not for a long, long time. But I'm looking forward to uh, seeing it again, actually. Is that the same cover? Yeah, near enough. I think it is, actually. I reckon it's going to be better than the 4K disc. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. <laughs> I like that one, that's great. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing these again. It's been so long since I've watched all these. I'm such a fan of Pixar. Yes, you can watch them on Disney Plus. Rather than just pay £20 for each one. But if you're a Blu ray collector, you know how good it is. And the next one is going to be. Actually, no, I'm changing my mind. We're going to go with this one. We're going to go with the second film in the first disc that we looked at which is cars 2 this film is hated i don't hate it i from what i remember i can imagine this maybe once or twice many years ago i really enjoyed it i liked the spy espionage thing i love the f1 so it had f1 in it i i, I like it i've got, again i've only seen it once or twice um but i really enjoyed it looking forward to getting it Got it many years ago, I think, on Blu-ray on for Christmas, I think. Um, really nice cover, really nice colour. I like that kind of minty colour. Big Ben there. Michael Caine's character, I believe. So again, the colour on the side. It's a really nice colour, that. There's Mater. And th these ones add this little blue sign, which is a shame. This Irish Film Classification Office, which is a shame, because otherwise they would, there's no continuity now. But there we go. Kind of everything. So this one, oh, there's the, there's the uh, F1 guy, I love that. He's voiced by, um, oh, what's his name? Is it someone here? Oh, I can't remember his name, but he's in, um, I think it's the same guy who's in Transformers, who plays like the, the crazy cop guy, I can't think of his name, but he's a great actor. This has got two Pixar shorts on, so looking forward to seeing those. Not a lot of special features in this one, just those two. Oh, which is those two, isn't it? That's it, just those, that's it. So it's directed by a guy called Brad Lewis. I'm not sure. Oh, no, co-director, sorry. Oh, it's done by John Nassiter. Ooh. So there we go. Now, we know what the 4K disc looks like. But do we reckon it's going to be better than the Blu-ray? Nice. But... Oh, I prefer that one. Now, that's a nice one. Oh, look at that. Look at the colours. I'm a sucker for colours. Look at that. Oh, yeah, we like that one. Very, very nice. So that is Cars.
too. Next, I'm going to throw a spanner in the works and I'm going to look at a non-Pixar film, but a Disney animated studios one, I believe it is. Now, this one I only saw a few weeks ago for the first time and it's a new animated film and I loved it. Oh, I haven't given you ratings, the other ones, have I? <gasps> oh, goodness me. This one I would give, based on what I remember, I'd give it... This isn't me rating the film, this is how much I love the film, I suppose you could say. Yes, yeah, I suppose that's a good way of putting it. I'm not rating the film, I'm rating it how much I love it. Three out of five. Mm, three out of five. I, I can tell you again, these are, all these will change when I watch them again, after since buying and picking up on 4K disc. Next one is Raya and the Last Dragon. I kept hearing people say it's Raya. I was like, it's Raya, it's Raya. And watch, when I watched the film, I was like, it's Raya, it's Raya. <laughs> this was a brilliant film. I love quest films. I've said in my other videos, I love a good quest where they've got to do this and go here and go with oh, this and go and get that and go and get that. And this was a quest film. And so I loved it. That's why I love Rise of the Skywalker. Yes, I did like that film. So there's a beautiful cover there. I do prefer, I don't know if you've seen the Zavi Stillbook cover, where it's just her close up in the rain. <gasps> beautiful, but I'm not paying that much money for it. Not when this is only 15 quid. There's the spine with Raya herself there. Excellent. And in the back is beautiful. I love that picture on the back. So we've got, is it Noi, the little girl? And you've got the little monkey things. Excellent film. Really, really good. Fantastic ancient sort of eastern feel and, and and sort of era and setting and it's got these sort of mythology to it amazing action sequences beautiful music lots of comedy and the cutest thing ever in tuk tuk who's not in the picture what's going on where's tuk tuk <gasps> it's not on there if you've seen the film you know what i'm talking about tuk tuk where is tuk tuk he's not on there he's when he's cute and he's small, oh my god, I like melted. There's quite a few special make special features on there. Oh, Easter eggs, I like a good Easter egg. 107 minutes, yeah, it didn't feel long. This film at all, it felt just right. Uh, I can tell you now, this film I give four out of five. It was a great film, really great film. Oh, that's a good cover. Oh, it's pretty nice. Is it better than the Blu-ray? I think it might be. No, we got. Tuk, that's Tuk Tuk. Oh, look at him. He is so cute and small and big and cute and small and cute. When he's small, he's cute. And when he's big, he's not as cute, but he's still cute. Oh, he's cute. I didn't know um, he's cute. Don't know if you knew that. I don't know if I mentioned that in passing. Four out of five. Love it. Next one is got lots of colourful balloons in. If that's not the biggest hint in the entire world, I don't know what it is. It is, of course. Banner. No, it's not. It's up. A great cover. Love this cover. Really detailed. You can, see, you can even see the stitching on the badges. I love that. I have checked this one out very quickly on the Blu-ray player, and it's stunning. And it was peaking at, like, I saw like, I think like 60 megabits per second, which is so much more than like a streaming service. So it's beautiful. So yeah, really nice cover. There's the spine. I thought the spine should have more different colours to them. Like, the, like this is, we've already had green and, and stuff. They should have like yellows and purples and especially with the balloons and this. There he is. I forgot his name, but there he is. And then we have this here. And of course, this won a lot of Academy Awards. I must say a lot too, but it's still a lot. More than I could ever make. Beautiful picture there. Of course, we've got Doug. Everyone loves Doug. Look at him. Beautiful, touching, and funny. Touching? It will have you bawling your eyes out with tears in the first 10 minutes. My word, it's more than touching. It's catastrophic. It will leave you a mess on the floor, crying to yourself and rocking. Maybe not rocking. There's special features. A few, not a lot, but a few. 96 minutes, so nice and short. But this one looked beautiful on Blu-ray. It looked really, really nice. And the colours and the HDR. Oh. Now that's it. Oh, that was bang on. That's so much better. Now that's a nice cover. I like that a lot. The colours are just stunning. Look at that. 
very very nice this one i'd give from what i remember i'd give it four out of five it's a really great film it will destroy you in the first however long it is but it's a fantastic film next up last two we got ratatouille a film i love and adore this is a brilliant film. I love the whole story about this. I love the setting. I love the whole kitchen. I just love the art style. I just love it. Lovely, lovely artwork. Uh, and I love all the detail on the back because all the colours just... It kind of has that romantic feel, the colour to it. Matches the whole film with the brown, like the wooden spoon brown. And then we've got... I suppose like you've got the green there for the forest, haven't you? And then we've got here... <laughs> the cheese. This looks like me even, even. So, unique and admissible. Yeah, I'd say it's unique. It's definitely something different. Oh, won an Academy Award 2007. Hang on, did they win two? Oh, no, the, oh, it was Cars, wasn't it, that won an award but in 2007, but not an Academy Award. There we go. No commentary on this one, but a few special features on there. How long is this one? Oh, it's under two hours. Blimey, didn't know it was that. That's a really nice one. Check on the inside artwork. I'm getting a product open this one-handed. Yeah, very nice colours. Really nice, rich, romantic sort of feel to it. And then, oh, look at that. I love that, that artwork. Look, you've got the Eiffel Tower in the background. There's little faces, a wooden spoon. It reminds me of the old Blu-ray. That's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, this film, I give it a four out of five. Love this film. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And last but not least, we have Moana. Now, I'm ashamed to say... I only saw this for the first time last week. I know, and it's because I thought, oh, it's going to be a princess film, and it's going to be singing, and I don't think I'm going to like it. How freaking wrong I was. I'm going to say it now. This is a five out of five. This film blew me away. The music, the songs, this song, this way, this film is brilliant. The songs are fantastic. They're addictive, they're beautifully written, they're hilarious, the comedy is beautiful, the visuals are insane! The visuals are insane in this film. Absolutely stunning to look at. Fantastic performances, brilliant storyline, a film that keeps moving and moving on and you don't feel like you're in one spot. They feel like you've travelled so far when you watch it. Oh, and she's fantastic, she's really good, the voice actress for her. And lovely colour on there, light blue. What a film. Absolutely loved this film. Really, really impressed by it. So loads of special features on there. No commentary. I know oh, you have got commentary. There you go. So there we go. This is just under two hours. And it feels a lot longer than that in a good sense. Really, really good. What's the disc on this one look like? Well, that's quite pretty. Yeah, quite like that. That's very nice. What's this one? Oh, that's better. That's one out. You know me. Sucker for colours. Yep, that's one out. Beautiful. But that's my collection so far. I have got every other one pre-ordered. Well, I haven't actually. It's a lie. I've got pre-ordered... I have... The only ones I haven't got pre-ordered is Brave. I don't like Brave. That's not a lot. I don't like it. I could watch it if it was on, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't watch it over and over again like I would these ones. So I haven't got Brave. I have pre I have pre-ordered the other ones, and um, I I pre-ordered Big Hero Six, Wreck It Ralph. Um, I pre-ordered Oh Good Dinosaur, Inside Out, oh, Zootropolis. I'm so glad they're releasing Zootropolis in 4K. I'm so pleased about that. I've seen that once, but I fell in love with that film. Um, and also, what's the other one I've pre-ordered? Finding Dory. If I said that, Finding Dory. So you, you're getting the more modern ones now. They haven't released Cars 3 yet. I'm hoping they release Cars 3 in 4K. But yes, this is my collection so far. My haul for, for Pixar and Disney films. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the other ones that are released. And seeing what other ones are released. Maybe they'll release ones I'm not aware of. I've been umming and ahhing about getting like Aladdin. Classic Aladdin. Um, it's like 12 quid on Amazon on 4K. I'm unsure whether to get it or not, whether it's that much of an improvement over the Blu-ray. If you've got it, drop me a comment below and tell me uh, if you've got it, if it's worth getting with Dolby Atmos and HDR. Drop me a comment to tell me what ones you like of these, what one's your favourite, least favourite, 
Have you pre-ordered any? What ones are you looking forward to? I, I love interacting with you guys. I really do love it. So, you know, I always try and comment back to every comment I get. So do drop me a line and I'll definitely have a chat with you about stuff. I like to have a good chat with film and, and Blu-ray collectors and lovers out there. Um, I have got some other film videos coming, hopefully. But um, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a penny, obviously. It just makes you aware of when I've got new videos uploaded. Um, spread the word of the channel. Uh, hopefully get some more subscribers to spur me on to make more videos. And I will see you in the next one.